Hi, I'm Captain Larry Bell with Texas Fishing Tips. This is your weekly fishing report. All right, down here in Bray Cove, all this little area here, all around, all the way around, there's a nice bunch of grass that's coming back in here. It's been hanging around there for a little bit, but it's really starting to show back up. Now they're starting to warm back up. Water levels have come back up. Bunch of bait working back in this area here. There's been some good fish here. A lot of good scattered redfish, especially in this little back lake right here. It'll take you all the way back into Little Brunnet if you have a boat that can get skinny enough to get back in that area. That's been a good area as well. Down south lures, the magic grass, you know, the darker flavors, chicken of the sea have worked really well. The Miradines have worked real good back in this area. Uh, got a big moon that's going to be in place for a few days, so make sure you think about downsizing your baits when you do that. Uh, that fish are predominantly not feeding so during the daylight hours are not as hungry so you want to give them something a little bit smaller so make sure you think about that before you go out there if you if you're not getting nice action you might want to change that a little bit so, but continue to work all in this area here uh, with those particular baits and uh, look for your bait and be patient with them and you'll find your redfish hanging out in this area over here in mustang all this area up in here we're still over some mud and grass and scattered shell fish are still hanging over that they have not made that transition over to to sand and grass and shell beds just yet uh, they're trying to get there but they're still hanging over the mud so this area all back in here in mustang with our higher water levels all this area back here has got some nice redfish that are working all against this back shoreline make sure that you locate where your bait's at again the miradines have worked really well back in here uh, the down south lures have worked here again throwing the uh, marker 54 jerk shrimp if you don't want to free line it, tie it underneath a popping cork, work it in some of these potholes that are back here on this back shoreline, a little bit out here in the deeper water. This area here now, if you haven't weighted this, make sure that you're, you're kind of aware because it's pretty soft. You can weight it, just going to take a little, little bit more extra effort to do it, but it is weightable. It's a good weighting area. So make sure, even if you want to drift it, that's fine. You can do that. But uh, this area back in here and just out here on the outside, the outside the ICW right down this area toward the Texas Parks and Wildlife boat ramp on this deeper water close to the ICW throw, your, throw some down south here close to that edge throw your miradines close to that edge work that area there there's been some really nice trout that have been caught off of that catch and release those things especially if you see those bellies that are bulging they got that little bit of uh, red looks like they've been scraped up underneath there they're getting ready to lay their eggs. So make sure that you're releasing these females that's got a lot of eggs in them. That's gonna help our estuaries much in the next few years. Continue to look this area here and you'll find those fish. Long Reef Bend. All oh, this area down in here with the back lake mouse that drop out in here. You can get up in these back lakes. It is soft. You can wade this back in here. Pick the one that you wanna go into. There's a nice amount of bait that's working in here. Good grass that's been working in here. There's been some nice big females that have been caught in here full of eggs again if you're catching female trout and they've got those bellies hanging down got their old bellies got some red marks on them where they've been rubbing down their their nest getting ready to lay put those fish back in the water help our estuaries out especially after february and everything that's the one thing that we're trying to really help is get our trout population back after this but there are some nice redfish that are hanging in this area as well they're up up and down the shoreline your uh miradine Work it like a topwater bait just below the surface. You can do that. You can let it sit there and just slow sink and just twitch that thing. Uh, your uh, down south lures, again, magic grass, chicken of the sea have worked good. The burner shad have worked good as well. Sometimes they want just a little bit smaller profile bait. So that's another thing that you need to take, take into consideration if you're not getting the action that you want with the topwaters or your, your uh, bigger down south in the, in the supermodel. Uh, continue to work all this area here. Just work it back and forth. Find your bait. Incorporate your majors and minors during your fishing day. You will find yourself be very productive during those time frames as long as you got some stuff that's working in your favor. Continue to work these areas. Look for your fish and have fun. Down here in Spalding Bight. All this area down here, all the way down into the little corner down there with all the little back lakes. You got one, two, three back lake mouse that drop out here. Since our water level has been up, any one of these little back lakes, you can get back in those. If your boat can run skinny enough, there's some shell pads that are all back around here, and there's been some redfish that's been scattered around those areas. Uh, you can get back in the back lakes a little further 
throw you some top water bait back there and see if you can get some type of reactionary strike. If they don't want to attack it, get your double D out because the double D has been super back here in these back lakes. All, all three of these, you can get in every one of them. Again, with the water levels being up, water temperatures coming up, these areas are starting to become prime. Bait's starting to show up back in these back lakes as well. There's been some redfish that's showed up back here. Work the down south, work your uh, magic grass, the chicken of the sea, the burner shad. Again, the myridines have been good here. Just whatever you can, whatever you can control and keep it out of the grass, that's exactly what you need to throw. Those, those baits right there are pretty easy to throw. If you want to rig them up weedless, do it. You'll, you'll, your uh, catch ratio may go down just a little bit, but you will not have to worry about hanging up in the grass, and you'll catch fish with it. So but just continue to work those. All these areas back in here, each one of these little lakes have got some fish in them. Just be patient with it. Find your bait and continue to work them. Down here in Copano, get back here, Swan Lake shoreline. All this area back up in here, close to the shoreline, the back shoreline, water levels again have come up. So when those water levels come up, it starts pushing fish back into these areas here. There's been some bait fish that's been working this area here. You got a decent amount of grass that's starting to show back up in this area back here. Fish love to hang out in that kind of stuff. Little bitty crab, little bitty shrimp back in this, and those red fish get back in there, and they just start cruising around in there. The one particular bait that has done really well in this particular area has been the double D. Double D, and that's primarily all I've thrown back in this area here. You can you can still throw your plastics if you wish to. You can throw a top water back in here to see if you can get some type of action. Uh, the Miradine, either one doesn't matter, but the double D has worked super well back in this area here and hadn't thrown anything else. Uh, any particular flavor really doesn't matter as long as it's got a little flash to it. Sunshine's been hitting on this area here. We've had some nice overcast days as well, but it's all been productive with the double D. Work this thing all the way up here to the flat. Get up in this area here. If it gets just a little bit too shallow on you, you can change your bait at that point in time if you so, if you so choose, or you continue to stick with the double D either way. doesn't matter. Uh, just work all this area out here. Find your bait. Look, look at your majors and minors when those things are going to be kicking in. Get a little bit of current flow that's coming in here and uh, continue to be patient with it, and you'll find some great fish back in here. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Larry Bell.